All right, guys, so we got to talk about a story out of the sports world that is an example of very poor sportsmanship. And stories like this are stories that you should never hear about or see about happening in sports where players line up to give a victory handshake, okay, after the game. Uh, just, again, as a show of just sportsmanship that, hey, this is a game, okay? Uh, and then one player ends up basically violently assaulting another player. Okay, and that is what happens in this story right here. As Memphis' uh, Jamiro shoots, gets charged with assault for allegedly, <laughs> I don't even know why the word alleged is there, punching BGSU's Alyssa Brett in handshake line. Okay, so uh, what happened here is that BGSU uh, beat Memphis in the NIT uh, basketball tournament for women. Okay, I think it was like the third round. And apparently one of the players... Uh, Miss Jamira Shoots uh, got upset with uh, one of, you know, Bowling Green's other players, her opponent, uh, and ended up punching her doing uh, the handshake after the game. So without further ado, I want to play a news clip so that you guys can get a better understanding of what's going on here. Take a look. As the teams high-five each other in the handshake line after the game, Memphis guard Jamira Shute stops to talk to BGSU guard Elisa Brett, then appears to punch the BG player in the face. Campus police have charged Shutes with assault. BGSU students are speaking out. I thought it was very unsportsmanlike. Um, and also, I just feel in that atmosphere, like we should be supporting women. And that's not what happened. Honestly, the first thing that popped in my head was that's just a terrible like representation of like sportsmanship. The university has not said what caused the altercation. According to a police report, Brett fell to the floor and suffered a swollen eye. A member of the Memphis staff grabbed shoots. I think it's so disrespectful. BGSU issued this statement. In part, it reads, BGSU Athletics is conducting its own review. Violence is never acceptable and our priority remains the health, safety and support of our student athlete who is recovering and doing well. Despite the win, the celebration marred by this moment, the Falcons are headed to the great eight of the women's WNIT. Yeah, so interestingly enough, CNN did a story on this, uh, but they didn't include any pictures of the assailant, right? The person that actually threw the sucker punch, but this is a picture of uh, the girl that was sucker punched. And, uh, you know, they say that well, they don't know a motive, right? Well, we don't know why, you know, she did it. And I'm like, nah, we do know a motive. The reason why uh, Jamiro Shoots decided to do that is because her career got ended by Miss Alyssa Barrett, okay? Uh, I, I believe that um, both of them are guards, okay? So they probably were playing against each other, okay? Probably getting physical with each other throughout the game. And Miss, you know... Jamira shoots uh couldn't take the fact that her career got ended right by uh this other guard okay because that is what happened she's a fifth year senior okay or she's there for, for her fifth year uh that's probably her last year and uh again when you know your career gets ended like that yeah sometimes you get real mad about it and unfortunately um you know this person decided to take that anger out on her opponent by sucker punching her in, in the face which is a coward move okay it's a very cowardly move i think that the assault charges are appropriate she should also be charged with battery as well too um and she should be uh prosecuted to the full extent of the law she should also be immediately removed from the memphis basketball team because this is not an alleged incident okay this is not something where nobody saw it. it's on camera she sucker punched a girl uh there's no ifs, ands, and buts about this. Uh, she should be immediately removed from the team. Even though, again, her career is effectively over already, she should just be immediately removed and expelled from the team uh, <laughs> just as basically a show that, hey, you know, Memphis, we don't tolerate this. But who knows? I mean, it is Memphis, okay? And Memphis is one of the most violent cities uh, in this country. So who knows? Maybe they do tolerate it. I don't know. But again, if you really don't tolerate this, if this is not a representation of the university, then um, they should come out here and, and really just be like, she's been immediately re removed and disassociated from the basketball program in the university, to be honest with you, right? But unfortunately, uh, in these times, behavior like this is par for the course, okay? Uh, we see this a lot in our society where you have people committing violent acts and assaults against people 
for what it seems to be random reasons, okay? We see it all the time on social media, okay? People just assaulting other people, and uh, it's, it's going too far, okay? It's going way too far, and I think that this incident right here is a representation of how you have some people in our society that think they feel entitled to use acts of violence like this uh, when they don't get their way. And the most unfortunate part about this incident is that typically... You know, uh, she's going to be given a slap on the wrist, okay? The charges might even get dropped. But if I was uh, this player right here, uh, Miss Alyssa Brent, uh, I would go as far as I can to make sure that this person is punished, whether that be having to file some type of lawsuit against the school or the player or whoever. I would do whatever I could to make sure that this person is punished because more than likely, you know, um, they probably won't be, right? They probably won't be, okay? They're going to slap some charges on her now, and then, you know, she might start crying racism or something like that. You know, the N-word was said to me, a racial slur. Wouldn't be surprised, right? Wouldn't be surprised if you start to hear that, okay, uh, to justify this type of behavior. But even if that did happen, that's still not justification for sucker punching, you know, this, uh, this, this lady, okay, after the game. Um, again, it's a shame that, you know, in athletics, um, you know, people can't just lose fair and square and, and not result to these types of actions just because they don't get their way. Uh, this is not what sports is about. And um, again, it, it really is sad to see. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.